What's up guys, it's Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. In this video I wanted to make a very quick uh, tutorial about how to serialize your data that you're sending with a form. Um, so again, we can look here on uh, jQuery, the API, and serialize and it encodes a set of form elements as a string for submission. So um, basically you can just package up all of your data in this one string and then you could send that off uh, somewhere else, maybe to your database. Um, and have that sort of deal, parse, parse those values, whatever. But it's just a way of sort of wrapping up and bundling all of your code and, um, you know, just passing it as one big string. So uh, let's, let's check it out. Let's build a very simple form. And we're going to omit the action and all that stuff. And let me put that back up there. I don't know why that dropped. And um, we're just going to have two. We're going to have a label for... This is going to be name, and this is going to be your name, and we have an input type of text, and it's going to have a name of name. This is how the serialized method is going to work. It's going off the names of these inputs, and um, we're also going to have a label. Let's do a line break real quick. We're going to have a label for uh, age, uh, your age, and uh, another input type of text, and a name of Age. So that's a very simple form. Um, and then we'll have an input type of submit. And then um, we'll wire up our function. So we'll just bring in jQuery 3.0. Got that. Let's hide our HTML for now. And then we'll say form. Since we only have one um, on submit, take a callback function. And that'll take in an event. And uh, what do we want to do? Well, since the natural event of a form is to post, um, this isn't actually going to work because um, we're trying to post through JS bin, and uh, because of security reasons, it's not going to let us. Let us. So let's just do event dot uh, prevent uh, default. So we're pre preventing the default behavior of uh, of uh, the event. So that's good, and. Um, then what we want to do, let's come back into our HTML and let's do, uh, let's create a div called results, which will just store our results. And then we'll just say your results. And then um, from there, let's close that back out. And then we'll, we'll do, uh, we'll say var form equals form. And then we just want to serialize it. And we'll serialize the data we're getting. Then I'll make it into one big string. And then finally, we want to say dot results uh, dot, dot append form. So let's try it out, guys. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to say my name is Theo. My age is 23. Let's submit our form results. So you can sort of see it's passed it as a key value pair. Name equals Theo. Age equals 23. So, uh, you know, maybe if we just wanted to get the name, let me console.log and see what we have in our form. And let's just see. See if we could get even more specific with this. Name Theo age equals 23. So it's like I guess you could you could do this. You could do uh, form dot split. And you could split it on this uh, the ampersand. And then we could try and log it out what we have. So we could do name Theo age is 23. Now we're getting an array. And then you could do, you get you could um, reference the first index right there. So I, if I just wanted my name, then I could do this and name equals Theo. I'm getting that, and then we could just say uh, instead of the var form equals, um, just say form equals form dot split, and then this should work now. 23, your name, results, name equal Theo. And, it, and similarly, if you wanted the age instead, you could go ahead and split it and get the uh, index one, so name Theo, age 23, age equals 23. So a uh, pretty cool tutorial. I wouldn't say I use it too much, but again, if you want to package up your, your query string or uh, just your results from your form in general, then that is how you would take care of it. So. Um, to use for you know sending it off later to a database or maybe to local storage you'd wanna you'd wanna deal with that so 
Hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks always for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, look forward to making more videos and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks. Have a great day.